Jake Palmer at Remax here. I'm at 891 Manawaganish. It's a beautiful stately street on the west side. Really, uh, really is a stunning street to drive down once the trees fill in. It's got a beautiful horseshoe driveway. I'll show you in the side here. Lots of room for parking. A nice uh, single car garage tucked down the side with a deck above it. And I think many people that see the inside of this home are going to be blown away by the extent of the renovations. It's certainly home with curb appeal, but I don't think anyone's going to expect uh, what they'll see inside here. Coming in through the front door, you'll notice the uh, hardwood floors. Hardwood floors throughout have been completely refinished and they're in beautiful shape. Nice side staircase going up to the second floor. Immediately on the, uh, on the right, very large living room. So this has beautiful trim work throughout. Some really unique cast iron radiators with the side fins. I'm going to point out several details like this because they're quite uncommon. The recessed lights on either side. Beautiful tiled fireplace. It's capped off, but it could be used if you want to put in a propane or a wood insert. Details like the uh, little built-in shelves on the side. This is the dining room built-in shelves in the corner. Plenty of space for a large dining room table as you see. This is a wide room. Again, beautiful gleaming hardwood floors. You even notice things like the light fixtures throughout are just gorgeous. Great view of the west side. Very nice backyard. You can see that off the kitchen, which we'll see in a minute, there's the deck that goes to the barbecue and then a nice sitting area out there for the summer. Wonderful little sun porch, built-in shelves. Hardwood floors here, but I'm just going to stoop down and show you. Hardwood floors in the sun porch, I'll try from this angle over here, are almost all bird's eye maple. I don't know if that shows very well, but they're really stunning floors. That's a bit of a better shot. So very rare, very beautiful floors. Such beautiful details like that. Well, head over to the kitchen. The kitchen is just stunning. Little corner shelf here. But this, the first time I came in here, I had no expectation of this whatsoever. Stunning cherry floors. Very, very large island. Kind of an eating, eating counter there. All new cabinetry. Stainless appliances, propane stove. Very nice stone backsplash. Absolutely an entertaining kitchen. Great place to uh, sit and enjoy drinks, chat while you prepare meals, and then your dining room is just over there. Lots of room for storage, as you can see. And then a nice breakfast room at the very end. This gets a beautiful morning light as well, because the sun rises just outside of that window. And so you get a really nice morning light, which is perfect for a breakfast room, obviously. Let's give you another full view of this area. Just a huge kitchen. Notice the ceilings are painted pine paneling, which is just really suits the age of the home. Beautiful recessed pot lights. But you can really imagine entertaining here with a large crowd. And there's that door that goes towards the deck. We'll go out there in a second. Very large pantry, double doored pantry. Again, the uh, cherry floors continue throughout. It's right around the corner there. We'll go out to the deck. So it's a really large deck. 
deck is above the garage, but lots of room for a crowd. And you can see what a nice flat grassy yard it is. Nice courtyard area down below from the walk-in walkout basement. It's very private too. I mean, Manawaganish Nice Road is just on the other side of that uh, that railing, but it's a real uh, real private oasis. A quick view of the driveway here as well. Paved driveway and that goes right underneath to the garage. So it's a home that was absolutely set up for uh, for entertaining, and it really shows. Another view of that kitchen. We'll head upstairs. Powder room on the main floor. Discreet, small and discreet. There's the front entrance that we came through. There's a closet on the stairway there for coats. And again, the stairs have all been refinished. Hardwood floors have all been done upstairs. It's very consistent throughout, which is kind of rare in an older home. A lot of times they're renovated as a hodgepodge of different styles and different materials, but this one's very consistent. So there's four bedrooms upstairs. This is the first. They're all very good sized bedrooms. Large closets, I mean, almost a walk in closet. Another very large bedroom. Gets very nice natural light, but there's also really nice uh, lighting wall sconces. Show you the closet in here as well. Again, very deep closets. With older homes, a lot of times closet space is, uh, is one of the big challenges, but in this one it's beyond adequate. There's very nice deep closets that you'd even have a hard time matching them in new construction. This room again gets a nice morning light. Currently used as an office, but really a large size bedroom. Easily a, easily a large bedroom for even a king size bed if you want to fit in here. Another nice deep closet. And going down the hallway, the main bath. It's a full bath, beautiful ceramic tile, all nicely updated, nice light fixtures, nice mirrors. Full tub done with subway tile, nicely arched tile work on the top. And then to the master suite. This is this is what really impresses. Again, not what I would have expected to see. Walk-in closet. Very deep. Built-in shelves on the other side. And then the master ensuite. Ceramic tile floors. Beautiful big vanity. Huge mirror. Just a fantastic jacuzzi tub. Beautiful tile work around it. Absolute fantastic oasis in here. And absolutely not something you'd expect to see in an older renovated home. They've really gone beyond uh, what most people would expect. Cherry floors in the master bedroom. Electric fireplace at the far end. Lots of room in here for large furniture. That's a king size bed. And you can see there's plenty of room for it. As I said, some very large furniture in here and it doesn't feel out of place at all. And a great view of the backyard. And again, master bedroom would get uh, morning light here. We'll head downstairs, show you the basement. Typically in an older house like this, the basement's a big compromise. Uh, 
often dirt floors, stone foundations, not a place that you'd have any finished area at all. This one's quite the opposite. So even when you're coming down, it's nicely carpeted with Berber carpet. All very clean, well kept, freshly painted. You've got a fantastic TV room or rec room down here. Great area if you wanted a place for teenagers or kids. You can have all their junk, all their stuff down here. But a really nice room, very, very dry. Berber carpet. Uh, be a great theater room. Fully drywalled, including the ceilings. A lot of times you'll see a drop ceiling in a finished basement. This one's uh, much more finished than that. Lots of built-in shelves. And then going down here, nice bright laundry room. With lots of storage all around. And then this is another area. It's partially finished now. Drywalled ceilings. It's all drywalled on the walls. Uh, painted concrete floor, but you could easily lay a laminate floor down here and have... I mean, really, you could have another bedroom down here. You could have... Uh, have a workshop or it could be another living room if you needed it. Lots of built-in shelves. Really nice large windows as well. It's very very bright down here. You could do any number of things with this room. And then as we go to the unfinished part of the basement, <coughs> even this area is spotless. The concrete floors are painted. That's a natural gas furnace. It's a very well cared for home. And again, a lot of times in older homes, this is the big deficit. This is where people get spooked by older homes. And I think the opposite in this one, I think it's uh, really encouraging to see an older home that's been so well cared for. This is the walk out to the backyard. Nice stone courtyard here. And again, a really nice private area as you go towards the backyard. And again, a nice place to entertain. Just some nice deciduous trees there. They, uh, they would fill in very nicely in the summer. Nice wide staircase going up to that deck. So it's uh, it's one of those rare properties that you could really see yourself entertaining outside as well. Going back to the basement here. From the basement as well, you've got access to the garage. You can easily park a car in here. They've got a lot of storage in here. But you could well imagine having this as, uh, as a place to park a car and then have storage at the far end. That would not be a problem at all. There's plenty of room here. And it means that when you come in from the garage, you're inside the whole time. A lot of times when you have a garage in an older house, you have to go outside to get to the garage. This one, you come in through the basement, bring your groceries, bring anything you have and you're inside the whole time. And so that concludes the video tour for 891 Manawaganish. If you have any questions about this property, please don't hesitate to call or email. My phone number is 506-650-0092 and my email address is jake at jakepalmer.ca. Thanks very much.